I'm going to get started. So, this is the white pillows. They flip from white to white. The ones that I have, um, some can be sublimated on the back. Some of them, uh, well, they actually all can be sublimated on the back, but some of them don't come out as vibrant on the back as others. So it just depends on, because I have two different vendors, it just depends on which one I get them from. But these are the pillows that Sasha did uh, post from earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I already have the pictures printed out. Um, I do mine, and I forgot to turn the border back on. I'm going to back off. But I do mine um, 14 by 12.6 or 14 by 13, because sometimes, depending on the picture, it'll start curving once you stuff that pillow. And when you stuff the pillow and it starts curving, it starts cutting off the photo. So I don't have people complain, so I choose to do the 12.6 12 12 by 14 to be per so it'll be perfect on the pillow. So let me go on and cut this out. of parchment paper because you don't want to let your sequins touch the top of the press at all because it will peel I've had times where my sequins literally peeled the peeled right off um so I always cover it with two sheets of parchment paper so that it'll so that it'll cover the full pillow it just depends on the size of your parchment paper because mine is like 15 feet wide so by being I mean when I say 15 feet I'm sorry yeah it's 15 inches wide the pillow is 16, so I use two sheets so that I can make sure all the sequins are covered all the way. Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and pre-press it for a few seconds. This was like a last minute thing. I just, I know I had a, I was done with orders, but I had one person locally ask me can I knock something out for them? And it was a pillow, so I went on ahead and did it. I do have them listed on my website, so the thing about it is, the way I'm gonna do the um, the buy-in, you can purchase the do your purchase through my website. That way, I can keep up with everybody's order, um, how many you're getting. It's the the MOQ is five. Um, once I hit the two hundred, then. I'm gonna order them and with my vendor, they should be here probably within a week, week and a half. Um, but basically on my website, I'll be able to keep up with everybody's order and how many they want, the shipping, all of that. So that's the way I'm gonna do mine. But um, let me get to pressing this. With the white pillows, you wanna make sure every, it's kinda hard because of the fact that, you know, you see the white, you like, okay, it's all white, so maybe all the sequins are pushed the right way. You want to make sure you thoroughly look and make sure everything is flipped in one direction regardless. It's easier when we're doing shh, it's easier when we're doing the colorful sequins that flip to white because you're looking for color. On here, it's the same color on both sides. So you have to literally make sure you eyeball everything and make sure everything's flipped up. Go ahead and do the darker picture first. And I press these for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. And then once I, once it's done pressing, I try to let it cool a little set for a few seconds. Sometimes I do it while it's still extra hot, but I end up burning myself because I have my gloves around here somewhere. And as you can see, I ain't got them on right now. But I have some new ones, so let me get to finding those real quick. I know I got them over here. I got stuff everywhere. I'm supposed to have my arm things on as well because I have the the heat protectant for my arms as well. 
I just don't know where I put them. No. No. Mama, have you seen my sleeves that daddy got me? Huh? The sleeve things daddy got me. So, no. so I'm gonna burn my arm again. Go throw your piece of paper away. This is side one. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Now, we'll go ahead and flip it all down. My bad, y'all. I just burnt myself. Sometimes I flip everything down, but most of the time I just flip it to where, like these are still up, but I usually just flip it to where, where I need to put the pictures at. And then I pre-press it again for about 10 seconds, just to make sure that the sequins are laying flat and nothing is up to where they end up bending. Cause you don't want no bent sequins. Both of my sheets back on there. I run my hands sideways to make sure all the sequins are laying flat. I use the parchment paper, or you referring to the the paper that I um, the paper that I use to print my images. I use Asa, but I get this parchment paper from Sam's Club. It comes in a two pack for ten dollars. And it's 15 inches wide, so. Now, I'm just gonna pre-press this again for about 10 seconds and force open my heat press. And if you don't have a card, you can turn. Yeah, and when you hit one more card, take it. Right. Uno out, if you have a great card. Like you did that now, if you don't have that color. Uno out. That was about 15 seconds, my bad. And one of them still decided to flip up. That's the most annoying thing about the sequence. They have them a mind of their own. They literally do what they want to do sometimes. Okay, so image one is done. I'm adding image two. I'm gonna press that side for the 400 degrees at 60 seconds as well. I kind of put mine off of the press just a little because of the zipper. I don't want it to interfere with the pressure. Okay. And that'll press at the 400 degrees, 60 seconds. And once I'm done with that, I'll let it cool for a little bit and then I stuff it. Let's put them on the bottom. I have to do a flask and everything as well tomorrow. So I may go live again tomorrow to do the sublimation flask. Um, I forgot what else I got to do. I know for sure I have to do a flask. The apron is just vinyl. So I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. If not, I can come back and go live again. We got about 15 seconds left. Trying not to always let it auto open because sometimes it'll pop and everything will just go everywhere. Throw that piece of paper away from me. How do I get that paper? 
And this is image two. Sorry, my lighting is just crazy. But this is the second image, pre-press for, uh, for 10 seconds, 400 degrees, 60 seconds for both sides. It's not layering because it's all one color. I just have to do a real quick apron for a personal um, gift. So, these are the pillows that we've been discussing, the ones that Sasha did. Um, they can get printed on the back. This order wasn't for the back, but the thing I like about these is I don't have to ask the customers uh, what side is which photo going on because it's only... If it's as far as the sequence, if it's two pillows, you know it's gonna go on the sequence side. I'm sorry if it's two images, but if anybody has any questions, let me know. If not, you all have a good day because I have to get back to Christmas gifts and wrapping. Mm. And I may also be adding these as well, if anyone's interested, the heat gloves. Okay, so no questions. All right, you all have a good night and a blessed holiday.